Mount Etna just erupted again, but this time something came out that shouldn't exist. Amid the smoke and lava, a glowing material surfaced. Unlike anything ever recorded in Etna's history, it pulsed, it shimmered, and it left scientists completely stunned. Emergency teams rushed to collect samples, only to find it wasn't like any known volcanic emission. No match in the global geological database. No trace elements common to known lava flows. Early analysis suggests it's forming deeper than Etna's magma chamber, possibly tapping into a layer of Earth we've never reached. Whatever it is, it's not just rare. It may be the start of something far more dangerous. Mount Etna's eruption didn't stop with the strange glowing material. At 11.23 in the morning, the volcano unleashed a violent pyroclastic flow, one of the most destructive forces on Earth. Within seconds, a torrent of ash, poisonous gases, and burning rock fragments tore down its eastern flank at over 140 kilometers per hour. That's faster than a racing car. And there was no time to escape. Tourists scattered, onlookers fled. Some described it as a wall of fire chasing them downhill. In less than a minute, the flow had traveled over two kilometers. And by the time it slowed, it had scorched a path stretching more than three kilometers long. Yet here's the unsettling truth. The area it destroyed was already barren. No plants, no animals. It had been blackened countless times before, which raises a disturbing question. If the flow wasn't fueled by ordinary lava, what exactly powered it? Scientists now believe this wasn't a typical eruption at all. It was something called a paroxysm, a brief but explosive volcanic outburst known for its sudden violence the kind of event that changes everything you thought you knew about a volcano. And Etna's paroxysm this week? It may have been hiding something even more extraordinary. What truly captured global attention wasn't just the eruption itself, but the strange material it released. When samples were rushed to laboratories, the results were baffling. The substance didn't match any known volcanic emission. It wasn't basalt, it wasn't andesite and it wasn't any trace mineral common to Etna's eruptive history. To geologists, that is deeply unsettling. Volcanoes are violent, yes, but they're also predictable. They usually follow a script written by millions of years of geology, but this substance broke the script completely. Some scientists suspect it formed deeper than Etna's magma chamber, perhaps in a layer of earth we have never directly accessed. Others argue it could be a chemical reaction between molten rock and trapped subterranean gases, a reaction so rare it has never been documented before. Here's the problem. If Etna is producing new materials, that means the volcano isn't behaving like itself anymore. It may be shifting into a new phase, one that could unleash events far more dangerous than a typical eruption. And it isn't the first time a volcano has delivered surprises. On Mount Erebus in Antarctica, scientists once discovered molten crystals of pure gold erupting from its vent. At Iceland's Hekla volcano, rare trace minerals have been found that hint at exotic processes deep underground. Etna's mystery substance may be another clue, a reminder that we still don't fully understand what our planet is capable of. To understand what might be happening inside Mount Etna, we have to look far deeper than its surface. Etna isn't like most volcanoes in Italy, which are powered by a simple subduction process. Instead, its magma shows a strange hybrid signature, part mantle, rich in iron and magnesium, and part crustal material infused with potassium and sodium. It's a geological tug of war between Earth's deep interior and its outer shell. This dual origin could explain the strange substance. If new cracks or faults have opened beneath Etna, they may be allowing magma to mix in unusual ways, forging compounds never before seen at the surface. But here's where it gets more unsettling. Since that mysterious eruption, Etna hasn't gone quiet. Multiple episodes have followed, including one where a crater collapse triggered. A pyroclastic surge and massive lava flows. It was the 14th eruptive event within just a few months. Scientists note that these collapses are not just dangerous, they suggest that the volcano structure itself is unstable. Think about that. A mountain that has towered for half a million years is cracking and reshaping from the inside out, and every new eruption is like a message from Earth's interior, reminding us that we may not fully understand how this system works or how far it could go. 
Some volcanologists now warn that Etna may be cycling toward a phase we have never documented in modern history. If true, then this mystery material isn't just a scientific curiosity, it may be a warning sign. To understand Etna's present, we need to revisit one of the most violent events in its past. Around 7,200 years ago, a colossal landslide ripped away part of the volcano's flank. An estimated 25 cubic kilometers of rock plunged into the Mediterranean Sea in a single cataclysm. The impact triggered a tsunami so massive that waves crashed onto distant coastlines, leaving traces still visible in the geological record today. What remained on Etna's eastern side was a gaping wound known as the Val del Bove, a vast horseshoe-shaped chasm that acts as both a scar and a funnel. Every major eruption since has been influenced by this ancient collapse. Lava pours into the valley, its steep walls guiding the flows like rails on a track. Scientists believe the Val del Bove has prevented countless disasters by channeling lava away from population centers. But there's a darker side. This same valley also concentrates instability. Cracks deepen, slopes weaken, and if another massive collapse were to occur, the results would be catastrophic. Recent eruptions have once again funneled into Val del Bove reminding researchers that the valley is both protector and threat. Some volcanologists even compare it to a pressure valve on a ticking bomb, which leads to an unsettling possibility. Is Etna preparing for another structural failure, one that could dwarf anything we've seen in recorded history? Volcanoes are often seen only as destroyers, but deep inside, they also forge some of the planet's most valuable treasures. Etna is no exception. Geologists studying its lava flows have found traces of rare minerals and unusual geochemical signatures. Magnesium, iron, and even elements used in modern technology can be carried to the surface during eruptions. On other volcanoes, these discoveries have been astounding. In Antarctica, Mount Erebus is believed to release up to 80 grams of pure gold into the atmosphere every single day. In the United States, the McDermott Caldera holds one of the largest known deposits of lithium, the key ingredient for rechargeable batteries. Etna's strange material may be part of a similar story. If it contains elements not previously documented, its discovery could reshape how we understand the link between volcanism and Earth's mineral wealth. But here's the catch. Mining inside an active volcano is impossible. Temperatures soar above 1,000 degrees Celsius. Toxic gases fill the air and the ground can collapse without warning. Even NASA's most advanced drones cannot survive long inside Etna's craters. So we are left with a paradox. Etna may be hiding resources worth billions, but they are locked inside one of the most dangerous environments on Earth, which raises a bigger question. Is the strange new material a hidden gift? Or is it the warning sign of a deeper, more destructive cycle that could soon reveal itself? Etna isn't the only volcano to leave scientists scratching their heads. Across the world, there are eruptions that defy logic, producing materials or behaviors no one expected. Take Mount Niragongo in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Its lava is so fluid and fast moving that it can race downhill at speeds of 60 kilometers per hour. Entire towns have been overtaken in minutes. Geologists still debate why its chemistry makes the lava behave more like water than molten rock. In Indonesia, Kewa Ijen burns with eerie blue flames at night. This isn't ordinary fire. It's the combustion of pure sulfur gases igniting into electric blue rivers that cascade down the crater's walls. For miners who work there, it is both breathtaking and deadly. And then there is Oldoino Lengai in Tanzania, the only known volcano on Earth. That erupts natrocarbonatite lava. Instead of glowing orange, this lava is dark, almost black, and it flows at temperatures far cooler than typical magma, yet it carries rare elements. That may be essential for high-tech industries of the future. Each of these volcanoes rewrites the rules of geology. Each one proves that Earth still has secrets, hidden in its fiery depths, which brings us back to Mount Etna. If this giant is now producing something never before seen, it may belong in the same category as these rule breakers. And that means the story is only just beginning. So what happens now? After eruptions like these, Etna usually takes one of two paths. 
It can quiet down for months, slipping back into a more routine rhythm of smoke and lava. Or it can build pressure again, leading to another explosive outburst in just days. That uncertainty is exactly what makes Etna so dangerous. It's not just that the volcano erupts, it's that scientists can't always predict whether the next event will be harmless or catastrophic. The strange material adds another layer of mystery. If Etna is now producing compounds we've never seen before, it suggests processes are unfolding deep underground that are still a complete unknown. Some researchers warn this could signal a major structural shift. Others believe it's simply another rare chapter in a very long volcanic history. But here's the truth. Every eruption, every fragment of ash, every mysterious new mineral is like a message from the Earth's interior. And the more we listen, the more we realize how little we truly understand about the forces shaping our planet. Which leaves us with a question for you. Do you think this discovery points to hidden resources that could change the future of technology? Or is it a warning sign that Etna may be heading towards something far more destructive? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to keep exploring the world's most powerful forces with us, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you never miss a story. Because Etna may not be finished yet, and this mystery might only be the beginning.